What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to create our air terminal schedule. So last video, we have learned how to place our air terminals, our supply diffuser, exhaust, and return. Right? So this time, so let us create our air terminal schedule. So let's do this. So to do that, from our project browser, you can right click the air or I mean the schedule quantities here. Just right click that and then just select your schedule quantities. Just click that one and then from the new schedule. So let's look for the air terminals. And then after that, you can specify here the name of the air terminal schedule that you're going to create. And make sure that this is a schedule building components and new construction. Okay, so for this exercise, I'm just going to use the default naming here of air terminal schedule. All right, and then after that, I'll just select your OK. Now, the next thing that we will be doing from the schedule properties here, so we need to select the fields here that we would like to be shown on our schedule. Okay, so to do that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change the uh, available fields here instead of air terminal so I'm gonna select space here and then you can see it shows here the different fields for your space so I'm gonna select here like for example the space number this just, just double click this and it will be added here to the other side so just double click name so if you want to remove you want to change you can just double click again double click again so it will be put it back again to our available fields okay just double click double click okay and now I'm gonna change this one so this time I'm going back to air terminal because I want to select here mark double click mark and also I want to select a uh, system type just double click again and then let's go back again to our uh, or let's select first the flow here there's the flow and then let's go back again to our space and I want to include the actual supply airflow double click and then the calculated supply airflow there you go so these are the fields that I want to appear on my schedule now let's say for example you want to add a calculated value parameter so to do that so you can use this calculated uh, parameter so add calculated parameter just select this one and then you will now be opening your calculated value dialog box so let's say for the name here of the calculated value parameter I'm just gonna put here difference difference in air flow all right and then formula and then for the discipline I'm gonna select your HVAC and now for the type, I'll just select your airflow. Now for the formula, I want that to be the actual supply airflow. Select that. Okay. And then minus symbol, just dash. And then after that, click again the fields. And then minus calculated supply air uh, supply airflow. So that's the formula. So the space actual supply airflow minus the space calculated supply airflow okay and then after that uh, you can now select here okay and there you go okay so there's now our calculated value parameter okay so let us modify this one so i'm going to format this i'm going to select formatting tab okay so on my formatting tab I'm going to select difference in airflow and then on the conditional format so let's click this one I want the difference in airflow to be uh, let's say not between okay so I'm gonna select this one difference in airflow not between uh, let's say minus 9.5 liters per seconds and positive 9.5 liters per seconds all right so the difference in airflow not between minus 9.5 and 9.5 i want those 
to be colored, let's say, uh, violet, something like this, this color here. Okay, so something like this. Alright, and then after that, I'm going to select here, okay. Alright, so this is now the condition. So minus 9.5 is greater than the difference in airflow or difference in airflow greater than 9.5 liter per second okay so that's the the format now let us select here okay and then let's go back or let's uh, select now our sorting grouping so let's click this one so i want to sort my schedule based on the space number so that's why i'm gonna select here space number okay and then ascending i want to have a header and uh, footer and then this one I'm just going to select count and totals. I want to show that. And then I want to put a blank line. Okay. And then I don't want to select the grand totals, but I want to itemize every instance. Okay. So that's it for this one. So I'm just going to select here. Okay. And there you go. All right. So as you can see, this is now arranged based on the space number, right? If you want to edit again your schedule, just go to the properties and then you can just click from here. There you go. So you can uh, use the filter. You can sort again. You can change the format. You can change the appearance on the sheet of your schedule. Okay, so right now, as you can see, this is uh, sort based on the space number. And, it's, and as you can see, there's a violet color, right? So notice that the data is sorted according, according to the uh, space number so the values in our violet uh, color in the difference in airflow column it indicates that the actual air or the actual amount of air being supplied to the room does not meet the design airflow requirements within the range of uh, plus or minus 9.5 right so if I'm going to change, let's say, for example, this one, the CEO office. So, by the way, where is this one? So, let's select one dash Mac here. And then let's select here tile views. Select this one. And let's say, for example, you do not know. Where is this air terminal? Where is this uh, uh, space 101? So, if you click this one, it will highlight here. There you go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. So the flow here is 150 liters per second. So let's say I'm going to change this one. So I'm going to change this to uh, 95. Okay, so 95 and then enter. So if I'm going to move my slider here and then I'm going to pick here. Move again. So you will now see that. Let me just maximize my schedule. Okay, so you will now see here, it now becomes white. Okay, so the column value displays white now. It indicates that it now complies with the CEO office airflow design requirements. So it's not purple or violet anymore. Okay, so any changes that you do here on your schedule, it will also affect your floor plan. So if I am going to select this air terminal you will see that it's now updated also to 95 liters per second right so that's how we use our uh, schedule here to uh, modify our uh, design okay so now the next thing that i'm gonna do here is i'm going to uh, tag my one dash mac floor plan so let's tag this one so to tag so let's go to the annotate tab and then from the tag panel, you can see there's a tag all here. So you can click that. Okay, and then after that, all objects in current view, which is this current view. So I want to put the air terminal tags there. So just check that one. And then after that, I'll uh, just select your OK. And that's it. There you go. Okay, so there's now our tags so you don't need to tag it one by one if you want to tag it one by one you can click this icon here
tag by category or you can just select this one tag by category as well from the annotate tab here so it's the same the shortcut is tg okay so that's it for this uh, simple exercise of creating our uh, air terminal schedule and using our schedule to modify our design so hopefully you learned something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day